Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now today's video is about riding three of the horses all in one day. I'm sure you can guess that little Grego here is not one of the horses. I just can't resist doing full cuddles or having full cuddles. So this was actually filmed a few weeks ago and I was blessed with the presence of wonderful Nina from Fancy Footwork, Poles and Grids. But also because it was filmed off the back of quite a lot of like work and filming away trips, like I was absolutely pooped and I was kind of just feeling a little bit like, ugh don't know what to do with the horses and riding three a day on top of everything else can get quite a lot of work sometimes and you don't really know what to do with them. So Nina very kindly suggested we do a video with her wonderful app which is Pole Work Patterns and it just made the whole day run so much smoother and gave me a little bit of motivation to get the horses out into the arena and actually do some schooling. Since we filmed this, I've actually been using the app at least once a week, especially with Winnie to take out and do different exercises. So a big, big thank you to Nina and I'm gonna pass over to her now to talk you through it before we get the horses out into the arena. You, little man, have got quite a few years before you get to have fun with Nina. Hey, you're a good boy. Also, his legs are doing much better for the people that are asking. You're very clever, aren't you? Right, should we go? So the app has got three different parts to it. You can choose your layout that you want to do, either by the number of poles that you want to use, anywhere between one and 20, or you can choose an area of the horse that you want to improve, whether it's the, the horse's bend or the balance or the core or make him stronger or more flexible. There's exercises for that or if you can't decide what you want to work on, you can use the app's random layout generator, which is a real fun button that you press. Uh, it's like a, a fruit machine that poles spin and it produces a layout for you to choose. And if you don't like that one, you can just spin again. We're gonna do poles by number to start with. And then, because we're very lucky with the amazing poly jumps, we've got lots of poles. So we're gonna go on 16 to 20 and then random, Random. Random. Oh, this makes it a bit exciting, doesn't it? <laughs> Push the button. Oh, that looks pretty good. Okay. And then as we go through, you can swipe, it'll show you the different lines. You've even color coded it so we color know coded. what's yep. walk, what pace. canter, yep. what pace. Yep, absolutely. And we can see what things we're working on. <laughs> He's like, yes, I need to work on those. Right, this looks amazing. You guys are going to have to wait to see what it is when we get down to the video. Dee Dee is all warmed up and here is our randomly generated pole work sequence. Yeah. What are we going to be doing with this one, Nina? It looks quite complicated. It is quite complicated. This one uses 18 poles, so it is quite a lot, but you could happily take the sort of poles away on either side of the diamond if you wanted to, or you could take these poles away if you wanted to. Um, but it just looks so pretty that why not use all the poles? And it works on everything. It works on their flexibility. If you look how wide this part is here, um, just to sort of step over on foot, you've got to put quite a big effort in. Mm -hmm. um, so so that obviously when she puts an effort in will make her have to work through her core and um, so it's just so many benefits from one exercise. Pole work is just so good. It's I mean like that's a magic literally wand. like Jam's entire like well, a lot of her rehab was based around pole work to so get her. Pole work gets you to badminton. In exactly. <laughs> and that's a guarantee. <laughs> Walking is by far the most beneficial pace for pole work anyway. It makes the horse work harder than the trot and the canter because there's no elevation and moment of suspension in the walk. They have to rely purely, <laughs> good girl, <laughs> purely on muscular effort to get through. So they actually work harder by going slower. Yeah. So, and also it just gives them the chance to, to look. I mean, you saw her hesitate there. She wasn't quite sure where she was going to put her feet um, so it gives the horse chance to actually assess what's in front of it and answer the question that you're asking So 
leg if you walk her through the same line that we already did earlier but in the new direction so we can't assume because she was happy one way that she will be happy the opposite direction to us it looks like the same Thank poles you. going the other way but to them it can look like a whole new question yeah so it's really important that you don't just assume because they went through one direction that they're immediately happy to go through the opposite way just always take your time to introduce things really gradually um, and don't be tempted to sort of you know to skip um, a stage So just thinking about that rhythm, staying the same. Good girl, well done. <laughs> so we're just gonna commit her to this distance in here, good. That's the one. Ooh. Nice. That's well super, done. that's okay. Pony number two. Dee Dee had a very good session. She has already rolled after her bath, so it looks gross. <laughs> it was actually really nice to just have an idea of what to do with her. Obviously, because she's going in foal, um, her like exercise has been cut way down, so she's just kind of doing enough to keep the weight off of her, really. But I have kind of struggled to find much motivation thinking of what to do because it's like we're not working towards anything. So it was fab to be able to use the app and generate that pole work exercise. But you, Jammy, are very much still in work. That's why I went on like the core section of the app. So let me show you quickly here, guys. If we have her opened up like this, obviously we've got the poles by numbers, but I'm gonna do poles by improvement. Jam's like, oh, let me see. So we've got loads of different things we can pick from. But as you well know, Jammy has had to do quite a lot of rehab work to get her back working nice again and make her nice and supple and the core is very much related to that so here are the core exercises and i believe we have ended up going for this little fella here which we can then oh hang on go through and we can see all the things that we're going to be working on engagement lift jam this is exactly what you need to be doing We're all warmed up. Jamie's on walk, trot, canter. A little bit of lateral work. I'm trying to warm up our cores, Nina, <laughs> because we have got a core exercise right here. I'm actually just gonna, I'm gonna freestyle. We have already walked through it, guys. Whoop. Good girl. Not too bad, not too bad. Not Just too a bad. little bit kicky. The walk poles that you're working over now, they can be either flat or raised. Raised pole work is so brilliant for helping the horse to engage their core. Yeah. So basically, yeah. if you can get them to sort of have a slightly longer and lower neck going over the poles, the more the head and neck goes down and the more the legs come up, the more the core has to stabilize to stop the body from rocking from side to side. We've got the uh, trot poles, which are on a curving line. Um, so ideal for helping with the curve, um, helping with the bend, helping with engagement. With this one, because the distance between poles one and two and poles three and four, the distances are slightly, well the poles are slightly angled, it creates slightly different sort of widths depending on where you ride through. Yeah. So this is a good one for, you can either sort of ride through a line in the middle in a normal sort of regular trot, or you can shorten the stride and come on um, a line that's sort of slightly closer to the wall 
fork poles to shorten or you can lengthen the trot by riding um, a line that takes you slightly closer to the square. And then we have this empty square um, and this square again we can use in any pace but is also the distance works out when using a three meter pole which is what all of your poles are they're three yeah. meters long it produces um, the perfect sort of size for a canter stride yeah so we can sort of walk through the, the the bottom ones trot through the middle ones canter through this top one i like the fact that like oopsie you can change the rain and everything through this one yeah it's one that you can sort of keep flowing with it you can sort of just keep spiraling up and down the exercise um, and obviously adding in those transitions really help to keep the horses focus yes. keep their attention help with the engagement and all the other benefits of transitions and then we can come through in the canter if you're happy to. Mm -hmm. And it's entirely your choice. Some people would choose to come in this way, um, which would be my choice to come in this yeah, way. Yeah, get the worst bit out. And get the way. worst bit out, absolutely. Then you've only got to keep them straight from sort of where they're going to here. Yeah. Um, and then obviously you've got the empty square at the end. Other people might prefer sort of to try and get them in a rhythm coming through um, and find it easier once they're sort of using the other poles to get them into a rhythm to help them out at the end. So yeah. let's do both ways. <gasps> oh, jam. <laughs> Wait. Good. <laughs> She's like, are we jumping? <laughs> It is the final pony and we've definitely saved the most exciting until last. So this is little Winnie Woo, as you guys will know. She is my homebred. You're still technically four, aren't you? But you'll be five very, very soon, won't you, my precious little girl? So for her, we're going to do poles generated by the number of poles that we're using. So we've gone for six to 10, kind of like a happy medium. She is obviously still green, so we've picked a slightly easier one that her brain will be able to get round. But she's the kind of horse that you really, you need to keep on the ball. So she does need some kind of activity out there which again is why this app is gonna be so perfect for us because I can literally come out, have a little flick through, find an exercise I want to do, and it will be different every time, or at least different for 52 times. Hey, Win Woo. And then by then I reckon you'll have forgotten the first one. No offense. This is our exercise for Winnie Woo. It's obviously very, very green. And how do I describe you, Winnie? You can be quite exuberant, can't you, my love? <laughs> anyway, Nina. Take it away, what so, are we doing with this? We have got seven poles here. There looks like there should be more poles, but there isn't, there's seven. Um, but this one is one of the main layouts on the app, so gives you four different options, um, works on lots and lots of different things. Um, and it's one of the ones that you can use in all three paces. So again, if you don't have enough poles to do sort of seven poles you can quite happily just build one triangle yeah um, and you can walk trot and canter through a triangle it's not the biggest stride um, so you couldn't come in in a huge big long stride but you can canter through a triangle yeah um, and then yeah you can work on your accuracy um, going sort of through lines you know straight lines um, like putting two triangles together or you can work on turning by coming in and turning sort of left or right um, and you can progress if you want to this isn't on the app at the moment but you could progress and put uh, a jump up you know sort of afterwards so you do poles followed by um, a fence so yeah. or you can pop a through and trot this time if you you want to we're feeling brave 
whatever you feel. Let's see. So just present her, just let her work it out. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't the answer we were anticipating but it wasn't wrong so it's just important just to keep her confidence very good. good so she's learned very very quickly that she doesn't have to give that exaggerated response she can just trot through and yeah. this is what we want we want also like them. very pleased with how she's reacted she, to that she she's was learned quick. balance as well and we want them using their brains and she very clearly was using her brain so that's fab oh gosh <laughs> It's going to be a while well before done. I get a good mark for my centre line on this yeah. one. Ah, super. <laughs> Let's come down the centre line a couple of times first. So she's used to coming into a triangle over the point. Okay. So sort we of discussed earlier, they don't have the best eyesight in the world. Uh, she's stepping in now to a much, much smaller area. Or you can trot over them and walk just before the triangle. Entirely up to you, depending on how Ooh, well you think you can stop. I was going to say, I think <laughs> we'll get a bit keen. <laughs> I love how bold she, she is, though. Is super bold. I literally love her. Good. Good. Well done. Yeah, nice. Well done. Nice. Well yeah. done, well, Winnie. Well, Good. And then she's got to work out. Good girl. Well done. Yeah, very straight coming out. She's so elevated through those front legs. Because it's Jam's um, fall. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> the pole work queen fall. There you go. It's been it's hereditary. Well Come done, on. good. So like, already much straighter. Super. That really way. good. Again, a little bit of trot in between. Uh, yeah, okay. So it's really important that we just keep it in bite-sized chunks. Whatever it, she could, I'm sure she could cope with it. What we don't want her to do is to sort of to jump into the first triangle and no, then have exactly. to jump into the second Ooh. one and, and sort of frighten herself because exactly. we don't want to, um, you know, sort of keep testing her her courage. We want to be able to just reward her sort yeah. of braveness. Okay. Excellent, let her walk and think about that. So we won't do this line um, with her, Meg, but with your big girls, you yep. can go straight through a line like on, on this zigzag through the middle. Blimey, yeah. So you yeah. come through this line. So that's another... Yeah, that looks like a forward... It's a very forward trot. A yeah. big old, yeah. big old trotty yeah, trot. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, well, if we're not doing that one, shall we end by making that a little cross pole? Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so again, just let her sort it out. Good girl. Oh, bless her. <laughs> very calm about it. I was, yeah. That's I okay. was expecting a balloon then, so I was like, oh, God. It's quite nice that she didn't react negatively. Exactly, yeah. I'd take that reaction over and explode Absolutely. any day of the week. Good girl. Well done, well done. Good, Good girl, sweetheart. well done, super. Keep her quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, she was jumping really springy the other day. <laughs> then a placing pole to a fence. Better. Lap of honour time <laughs> or bucking bronco time. <laughs> I was just thinking, I was like, are we going to buck? <laughs> she says, I'm really Let considering go. it. Good, Winnie. She's got such a balanced canter. Hasn't she? Lovely See, canter. I really like her. I just need to get to grips with her. Yeah, she's smart, isn't she? Good girl, Winnie Woo. I'm very pleased with that. Yeah, excellent. Really, really good. Very, very good indeed. Super. Right, well, three ponies ridden. That means it's the end of my riding day. Yay. So we say big, big thank you to Nina for coming and oh, being- Thank you for having me. Absolute chief pole Pleasure operator and always. instructor. Clever girl. I'm going well to done. leave 
a link down below for the app and it's currently 3 99 it's 3 .99. isn't it? 3.99 it's a one-off payment so it's like lifetime access 3.99 it's not monthly it's not annually 3.99 so basically it's a really good time to get involved yeah, because there absolutely. are big plans for this app there are big plans it's going very exciting places <laughs> so if you get it now yeah, you'll be in the ground level you'll be sorted exactly yeah. um but no a massive massive thank yeah. you for coming and you for helping me, me out no and problem. i hope you guys enjoyed this and i hope you're as excited for winnie woo as i am even if she did crash through the cross pole several times i promise guys <laughs> she can really jump it's just there was a lot to think about she, and she, yeah. she definitely started to tie didn't she it's yes. so much for them yeah. and it's hot today it is hot today it's it hot is day. indeed yeah. right let's walk you off i live love love you guys and i'll see you very soon bye <laughs> say bye guys say oh, bye nina bye. <laughs>